Chat, here we go again. This time, there is no chat. We are just hanging out. Um, on the YouTube replays, we've got Kinsey versus I Ricky. Wanted to go back in time and, you know, reminisce about a day when we got to see Kinsey play in 1v1s. Kinsey played in the orange team, Ricky in the blue team. This one was specifically from a very long time ago. Uh, but the next two we're going to watch, we're going to watch three in total between Kinsey and I Ricky, were from just a couple months ago. Because, you know, we miss him. If you guys don't know, Kinsey used to play uh, 1v1s on the stream for a long time. He was undefeated on the stream up until our first big $500 tournament uh, championship. So uh, we talked about that recently. But he's also one of the most exciting players to watch as he goes for a nice musty off the ceiling. Ricky and Kinsey. I think back when Kinsey was playing, Ricky wasn't even on the scene yet. So... It'll be a matchup that I'm not really sure we've ever seen before on stream. As Kinsey tries to fall from the ceiling. And oh my goodness, Ricky. Ricky missing the most open of nets. Kinsey not going to miss that same open net the other way. Ricky trying to get a little bit too fancy maybe with his open net connection. But the, uh, the style of play in 1v1 and just the level of skill since Kinsey used to play on stream has changed so much. You can go back and watch some of Kinsey's old games, and even though he was totally dominating and was probably one of the best 1v1ers in the game at the time, you could just tell that his replays are from a while ago. He has stayed at the top um, ever since then. He usually keeps himself around the top 20 on the leaderboard, I'd say. Even though he doesn't play in any show matches anymore, uh, it says he can't really you know, get his heart into tryharding in 1v1. He still likes the 1v1 game mode. You may be able to uh, take him out of the show matches, but you can never really take the enjoyment of some 1v1s from these guys, if you ask me. Nothing like being able to drive around, you know, completely in control of your entire team's play. Right now he's up 2-0. And great catch from Ki uh, I, Ricky, I mean. I, Ricky, a catch off the wall and a flick. Just inside the far post for his first. Can say not the best of first touches, but great reaction to use that flip right away. He touched it straight forward. He needed to use the immediate flip off the wall to kill his upward momentum and stick with the play, and he did. And Ricky not going to have as good of an attempt the other way. I think Kinsey is one of the better players at you know, hedging against completely losing the ball even when he doesn't connect on a great shot. And that last one was, you know, a pretty poor setup and a pretty low likelihood of a success. But at the very least, he was able to hold on to it, make sure Ricky didn't get a quick goal, which can't be said the other way. Kinsey is setting up an aerial play, but without any boost. So, of course, he's got to turn away and let Ricky take it for free. He tried to super pre-jump the air dribble, and that's not going to do it as Ricky keeps himself within one. I, Ricky, and his wave dash kickoff. This was, you know, back when people were maybe using it even a little bit less than they do now. Ricky's been using it for a long time as he taps the full field air dribble at the net. Kinsey able to save it away. Another air dribble. Ricky seems like he's just started using air roll left or something like that. He's spinning like crazy in his air dribbles in a way that I'm not used to uh, seeing from either him or really a lot of ones dribblers in general. But look at this man. He cannot stop spinning left. <laughs> nice <laughs> wave dash catch. I'm not even sure if he really wave dash it, but it kind of wave dash without the, uh, the flip where he just landed his car wheels forward right into that chip. Kinsey needing to bump I Ricky in order to get away with not getting scored on. And in fact, he's going to get a goal back the other way. 4-3. Not only did he get himself out of getting scored on immediately on the kickoff, but he earned himself one of his own. With a minute 27 left to go. Kinsey does do a lot of streaming. I believe he has twitch.tv slash Kinsey. You guys want to check him out. He does 1v1s against viewers a lot, against subs. Nice, uh, just power shot off the bounce from Ricky to keep the game tied. 
Kinsei recently uh, joining Alpine, which is now Torrent. So Torrent definitely going to be a team to watch out for. I think they played pretty well uh, in this first LCS regional. I'm not sure they made, you know, day. I'm not, I'm not sure what they referred to, but basically the uh, the final bracket. Although they did make the regional event, but still good, not bad. As long as you know you're making every regional, certainly a top RLCS team. Ricky getting his dribble broken up. Trying to maintain possession with it, just turning it all the way back to his corner. Nice little pre-jump on the Kinsei bump, and Kinsei hanging out long enough to get himself 100 boost. Ricky did not pinch this out a dangerous way, but not the best of shots from Kinsei. Ricky is going to have time. Kinsei loves the power shots. That is one thing I remember about the dominance of Kinsei. More than any other player, he will just try and outpace you with a really strong shot. Although he didn't do it that time, and it looks like Ricky, I mean, Ricky, th this game one between these guys can be described as, you know, Ricky playing great, but every once in a while, going for some kind of air dribble. Maybe because he's, you know, just turning on air roll left or something during this time. I don't know, because he's been going air roll left like crazy. But he hasn't been able to uh, stay safe with those dribbles. So ultimately, he loses the game, but we got a couple more to watch between Kinsei and Ricky. Next game of Ricky and Kinsei. Kinsei in the orange, Ricky in the blue. Ricky uh, and Kinsei both having a lot of success in the 1v1 uh, scene on Johnny Boy's channel. Kinsei ended up getting fourth in Salt Mine 2. Salt Mine 2, if you don't know, was a tournament Johnny held that anybody could qualify. All you had to do was get high on the leaderboard in order to get your chance and then. If you did well in the tournament, you know, you could get first. There was no invitations, no special treatment of anybody. Kinsei ended up making the semifinals of that tournament and losing to First Killer. First Killer just, you know, proving to be too much for so many different North American 1v1 winners. But Kinsei probably one of the closest to taking him down. I think ultimately First Killer won in Game 7 overtime of that matchup. And then First Killer went on to destroy Mile in the uh, world final. But Kinsei, a great uh, great 1v1 player and certainly a very high peak. But First Killer, uh, you know, has stopped a lot of different 1v1 careers from North America. Nice uh, use of the flip, but too late. Seemed like it was going to be a good pop. You just didn't get any real connection on it. This time, Ricky going to benefit from a mistake by Kinsei. We have fast forwarded in time a little bit. Since the first killer dominance, uh, you know, he, he kind of hopped out of the one scene. And Daniel has certainly taken over as the player to beat in North America. So Kinsei, during his once career, maybe never got to be number one. No, I think he was capable of it. Um, you know, if first killer had maybe decided to stop playing ones a little bit earlier. I have full faith that Kinsei could have taken over as one of the, you know, the number one North American player. Kinsei, nice snake and dribble, but that final touch needed a little bit more movement to the right, and he just didn't get far enough around the ball. Not a bad setup. Ricky playing very well to start of these two minutes. Turn and challenge, he used up all his boost, and he used a lot of extra boost after connecting with it, which was very interesting. Not that he really would have been able to land back down on the ground and use any of what he had left to recover, but he really went all in trying to power it through that 50. Nice pre-flip by Kinsei after Ricky had won the kickoff. Very important to just put himself in the play and make sure Ricky doesn't get a comfortable shot attempt on net, make him, you know, outplay faster than he wants to, and ultimately getting a touch off the back wall that Kinsei can buy himself some time for. But a long clear from Kinsei, Ricky's going to get himself a nice open field. He's still air roll lefting like he was in the previous game, but he wanted to finish that play off. I'm sure with a power shot, Kinsei a soft touch. Kinsei not on his game right now as he is unable to clear that somewhat easy play away. Just tried to play it a little bit too slow. And now he's got himself a wall to air dribble. 
This flip reset is going to be needed to bring it back online. The wave dash did cut the ball enough, but not before Ricky could break it up. Ricky is spinning madman. I swear when I've watched Ricky before, he wasn't as in love with arrow left as it seems he has been in these replays. Kinsei just taking the ball to the net. Usually, you know, I would categorize that kind of flick as just a soft flick on net that it's really more about the continuation play. You force the defender to make a save and then play from there. But this time, Ricky can't even cut off the first. So Kinsei getting a second. Really hard touch from the flip reset. Not what you want to see. Makes it hard to stick with the play. And Ricky challenges at a good time to completely steal it. Ricky's going to go low. 50. That's a great play. Got himself a little bit ahead of the air dribble. So instead pulls off the ball and just preps based on where Kinsei is placed. Where he expects that clear to go. Give himself like a bit of a half ball separation between himself and the ball. And the dunk will send it in for a fourth. Nice demo. Can Kinsei get a full field shot? I don't think he can. Hi Ricky spawning to clear this one away. Not a great recovery on the back wall. So he is going to be a little bit awkward to the second attempt. And Ricky gets scored on for a third. Or three. Minute left to go. Ricky has controlled the game for the first four minutes. Still in the lead now. You can say nice redirection to take the pressure off. You can see him taking a trip all the way around that semicircle of boost. He gets back just in time to clear that one off the near post. But it does cost him everything he has. Wait, Ricky just set him up for an open goal. And I think Kinsey probably a little bit upset that he didn't get the power shot he wanted there. I, Ricky did not get a good clear touch, and even though Kinsey didn't have any boost, he was supersonic and should have been able to punish. But wait a second. This is a little bit of what we saw in the previous game. Ricky's going to give one back. Seems to have a pretty strong you know, emphasis on working that aerial game and trying to get it you know, to a point where he can rely on it. Not a bad time to maybe do it in these ranked games, but so far... It has been the death of him in these games against Kinsei. 4-4. Still just tied. So he has an opportunity to take the game, but Kinsei undercutting this ball. Ricky's not going to get there. Wow, I want to go back and watch this again real quick because this is the potential game-winning goal here. Ricky was in possession of the ball all the way on his back line. Kinsei playing really, really aggressive for the final moments and just... Boxing him out. Wow, just a really close shadow. That seems like a super dangerous play for Kinsey. But it works out. If Ricky's able to get a strong touch, Kinsey's going to be recovering really, really late. But Kinsey knows what he's doing. He's got a wall to air dribble to finish this. Ricky really needed the kickoff. A great challenge. In fact, he's got some open field, but he doesn't have the time to go pick up the boost. Instead, he shoots it on the back wall and will not tie up the game. So a tough break for Ricky at the end, but Kinsey they're going to take the second game as well. We've got one more to watch. Kinsey versus Ricky. Kinsey this time in the Fennec. Actually, wait, both of them in the Fennec. They decided to go Fennec 1v1 against each other. This is the next day from the last replay that we just watched. So maybe the previous games relevant in these guys' head. At least a little bit. Unlike the uh, the last one, which was certainly a decent amount of time. Kinsey probably beating himself up over not being able to tap that one online. He tried to race above Ricky. The arrow left life. <laughs> the arrow left life for Ricky has not stopped as he continues to constantly spin in the air and gets the sneak underneath the defender to go up 2-0. Can say this will not be the first time he gets a bump around midfield and then finds an open net. Ricky doing a good job of seemingly getting himself into an advantageous situation uh, shortly off the kickoff, but then never able to finish it. And now can say a direct kickoff goal, and just like that, we're back tied up two to two. Ricky pre-flipping into that back corner boost. Slowing Kinsey down. You see Kinsey just taking the softest of touches up off the wall to buy himself the maximum amount of time to reset. 
say, can he save this one off? Wow, putting it directly into his post. Ricky's going to put it in another good spot, though. It was a really tough play for Kinsey after he didn't get a great clear off the back wall. He's going to have a hard time keeping Ricky away. And that initial save almost made it possible, but great, great placement by Ricky. Recognizing he needed to prioritize the high touch over getting the power. As Kinsey scores a nice doomsy to immediately tie it back up. Right now, I think all three goals for Kinsey coming off of quick kickoff plays. Ricky needing to stop the kickoff bleeding here as he has certainly had the advantage in the open field but hasn't been able to keep it more than a couple seconds after each kickoff. Kinsey, nice little pop and volley power shot. Ricky gets caught flying underneath. Kinsey always looking for the net. He is looking for the net, you know, seemingly more often than the average once player we watch. Ricky had an opportunity to score, but felt the pressure of Kinsey coming in off the kickoff there. Nice shot, perfect placement. But Kinsey loves just a good power shot at any moment. Lots of other top players will, you know, go for wall to air dribbles um, or slow down the play in a lot of moments and not necessarily just always look to snipe the net with power shots because it's a hard thing to do correctly but could say always been one to do it more than the average player the problem with just power shooting on net too frequently is that you end up giving away possession a lot now this one was kind of interesting because could say didn't even shoot on net; he just powered it to the back wall and he is going to be able to regain possession shortly after doing so. I don't know why Ricky wasn't able to take it away, but nice speed. Now can Kinsey find the shot on net in time? He can't. Too awkward. He had to rush too much in order to power it past I Ricky. Now I Ricky super awkward. He camped out to get his boost. Will that end up working out for him? I think he could have had possession and maybe brought the ball onto Kinsey's side of the field. Had he not just accepted his fate, but he does have the ball in the corner now. As he slams it into the corner, has to decide between whether or not he's going to get a touch or grab the boost. And he does slow down to get the touch. Let's Kinsey fly through and pick up the 100. His 50 is not going to work, but he tries to stay aggressive on it. Now he's got a wide open net, and Kinsey can't believe he missed it, but he follows it up as he gets 5 4. Ricky not doing as good of a job of holding on to that possession and staying safe on offense. Kinsey has been doing it fairly well. Although he's mostly been doing it with just power shots and playing from midfield. Nice flick from Ricky. What great recognition that Kinsey was going to backwards challenge. He actually was kind of far away. So it wasn't the most obvious thing that he was going to go for a deep backwards challenge. But Ricky completely reads it. And can say a direct kickoff goal. This is hurting, 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 right, Ricky? I think of the six, what is that, four now that have come quickly off the kickoff? Ricky, some open field. Followed the ball in a little bit too tight. Wasn't going to be able to find an angle. That was a very risky save. He really wanted to stay grounded and not have to uh, jump up in the air, but oh, that was tough. He was willing to play the, the close line with that first save and send it just barely off the post, but for some reason, he wasn't able to uh, you know risk the fact that that shot was gonna be wide. Instead, slammed himself into the post in an attempt to save, which just makes his car so idle for so long. Gonna have a hard time getting back down and recovering, but this flick game has been on point. I mean, when Ricky has the ball in open field and Kinsey is defending, Ricky has been able to outplay him almost every time. The, the problem is he hasn't been able to even neutralize the kickoff. Kickoffs have been heavily in favor of Kinsey. And then just the occasional mistake on top of that has given Kinsey the edge. So you could ask for any one of those things to be cleaned up for I Ricky to be in the lead here. If he, you know, neutralizes the kickoff, he's probably up. If he gives away a few less of these open field plays when he's on offense, then I think uh, he also could be up. But 
That's just the nature of 1v1. Lots of different elements to it. Got to play well across the board. 8-6 lead with 30 seconds left to go for Kinsei. Not impossible for Ricky. But he doesn't have the best of possessions off kickoff. Once again, another power shot from Kinsei. He just wants to power it and play from there. And just barely able to redirect the counter. This high ball. Ricky has to try and race it. He doesn't really have any other choice with the clock winding down. But Kinsei can see the whole field. Absolutely knows he's going to be able to win that race. Double from Kinsei. Not the best of touches. Ricky he's going to let it hit the ground. Time is up. Kinsei can still do it. Or at least he could a few months ago. As he will take the three games against I, Ricky. Both these guys, two of the best in North America.